Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom and I want to talk to you about the new Lyra HTML5 website template that we are launching. Uh, I wanted to go over some of the features and, and some of the branding options that you have and just kind of give you a quick walkthrough. And uh, One of the first things I want to talk to you about was the fact that this HTML5 site has a responsive design. So I went ahead and I created a browser that was just a little bit smaller and you can do this as well on your own. Um, something that was maybe formatted a little bit more like the iPhone and you can see that um, it stacks everything appropriately for the device that it's on. So you, you maintain all the content and it makes it a lot easier to get through the content uh, with all the sub navigations and everything on something like a mobile device. And basically the design responsive um, responds to the size of the browser or the device that it's on. So if I were to just uh, bring this out, it would just auto resize itself to match uh, the browser that I'm in right now. So um, this this is the uh, first page I want to talk to you about. It is the home page that a lot of people will use. It's an optional page. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about some of the designs, the design stuff first and then go through some of the pages. So first thing is, is this logo. I'm going to go into the back end and this logo um, is a transparent ping that you can upload. Um, and you can go ahead and position it center, left or right. This design has a background, a graphic background um, that is included and you can turn that on or off. It has a shadowing effect here and one of the cool things that I want to show you is we have a graphic that comes with it that wraps around here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. So I'm going to go to the individual pages and I'm going to go to the home page that we're on and I'm going to go ahead and turn that graphic on with a border. I'm going to save it and you can see right here it doesn't have a border and when I refresh it um, that border is now in there so you can see the border uh, that can be built in and there is a uh, drop shadow that you'll always get so you can turn this border on and off for any of the album pages and you can determine which page has which album page uses it and which one doesn't so if you have one page that you want it to use or one page that you don't that's fine either way you're always going to get the drop shadow drop shadow is always there um, but you can go ahead and do that and then uh, you scroll down you can have the welcome text here you can also have welcome text located up here so um, if you prefer it to be up here there's a second area where you can actually add that text great for search engine optimization so you're going to find that we have text text located all over the site and it's uh, recommend that you use it because it's great for SEO. This area down here is what I call hotspots. Um, they're hot links that can link either internally to pages or link externally like I have this one set up right now to link to uh, an external blog. You can add as many of these as you need. You can change up the grid so that there's three here, that there's four or two or however many you want. And then um, it'll just keep adding more. So if you have a fourth one or a fifth one or a sixth one, you can go ahead and do that there. You have all your social networking icons, uh, all your social like buttons, and then you have a mailing list button down here where people can join your mailing list. And it can either just send the information to the, the back end of the website or you can have it tied into a third party mailing system like uh, MailChimp. So uh, some really great features there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about the design stuff. So let's talk about that background. So if I go into the design tab and I click on the background, I can come in here and I can turn that background off and I can even start blending some colors uh, into that background. And you'll notice that I have uh, a blue background, a blue color up top and a white color on the bottom and it'll turn those into a gradient. So I'll go ahead and save those. And then when I come in here and I refresh this, it'll get rid of that graphic background that was in there and now it's blending that top color into that bottom color. And if you wanted them to both be the same color, you just put the same color in the top and bottom. And in any of our color areas, you can go ahead and even t type in a uh, hex code or you can use that color picture picker that you saw me use. So with the background, you do have uh, those options. And then with the fonts, you can actually come in here and change the uh, the fonts. You can upload, you can use the, the font that we have with the default serif, sans serif, for navigation, uh, the headings, and the description. And you can change the sizes of each and the colors of each. And then you can also, if you want, click on here uh, and you can download some free fonts and it's a site that just just has numerous fonts and all you got to do is just come in here and, and find a font that you like and just click get kit 
download that zip and upload it. Not every font works works perfectly because they're all developed by different designers, uh, but most of them work really well. So you can go ahead and do that. So you can download it and then you can just click upload new and put it right in there. So you have a lot of control over the fonts for this uh, specific site. And then uh, with the settings, going back to them, you have a lot of color options. You could change up the navigation. You can change up uh, a lot of the foreground colors and, and, um, and things like that. So you have a lot of color options in here. Um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the pages that come along with this site. So let's go ahead and uh, refresh this. And uh, you saw this as the home page, and I want to go ahead and show you the next page, which is a gallery list page. And I'm going to click on here. And gallery list page is a, is a grid of images and links. And um, you can have different sizes, as you can see, that we have in here. Um, and you can make them so that they link either internally or externally. So these link internally, and this one uh, right here links externally. We have it linking to a blog. So you can have it so that there's three images. You can have it so it's one image. You can have it so it's nine images. You can just keep building this out uh, as you see fit. So a lot of people use this to set up all their portfolios. Uh, we made it so that you can have larger images up here just in case you have some featured items. And then if you had um, a seventh, eighth, or ninth image, they would just show up down here and they would link to wherever you link them to. So um, you can go ahead and click and it will link to an internal page. Um, and this is the second page uh, I want to talk to you about, which is the album page. And the album page, again, you can have that graphic that wraps around here. You can have music on these album pages and you can have these thumbnails down here. You also have the ability to have text, uh, like on many of our pages. Again, great for SEO. And you have the ability to go full screen with this album. So now let's go ahead and uh, go over to a video page. We created a, a page specifically for video uh, so that you can upload videos. Um, we also created a page called an info list that a lot of people use as an FAQ. Um, I've seen it used as an FAQ, so if you had the question over here, it would correspond to the answer here. You can choose to have an image or not have an image, so you could just be text. Um, but either way, you can put your questions and then the answers can appear on the right. I've seen people also use it for pricing. I've also seen people use it for different photographers. So if you have a studio with you know three, four, or five different photographers, you can go ahead and just keep adding them in there and then put their, bi their image in their bio on the right. So it could be a name that corresponds to an image in a bio. We also have an info page where you can have the image and you can choose the location of the image, right, left, top, bottom. You could also have multiple images and if there are multiple images it'll start scrolling through those images. And then you have a contact page. Now all the other pages that I showed you before the contact page you can just keep making multiple pages. The contact page is a unique page and um, the one comes with each template. Uh, but one of the great things is, is it has an embed uh, code up here that you can stick uh, either Google Maps, we have a video in here so you can embed something onto that page. And then you have a form builder so you can build out a form specific to what you need to find out from your clients and you could use as many of these fields as you need to. So there's name fields, there's uh, check boxes, um, there's a calendar, there's radio buttons um, and you can just keep building them out and you know you can have multiple of the same type of, of field in there. And then at the bottom they have this add me to your mailing list so it's really easy for somebody to just attach themselves to your mailing list as soon as they contact you which is really nice. And then one of the last pages that we have is our splash page. Oh, let me go ahead and go back. Um, our splash page allows you um, to set up a page where you can link people to different things. So you can link them either internally, and there's an image and text, and this links internally, and then you can have it so it links externally, and this one would link to the blog, let's say. Um, so you have the opportunity to add those in, and if you were to come into the splash page, you can see that you have three options here. So you have space for three links. Um, and this page also has search engine optimization text on it. You want to get that in there. So it has your SEO blurb and also has all your uh, footer information that comes along with, with the site. So um, that is the Lyra template. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact us or uh, get, uh, put in a support ticket through support. And um, there's more information on the site. And I hope that kind of gave you a quick understanding of how the site works. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.